Hello everyone, Philopater here, and welcome to another exciting episode of Total War Rome 2. I will actually be playing as the army of Egypt, but I uh, spawned on the wrong side of the hill, so my men are trying to get into position. While that's happening, I will go over the army of Rome, commanded by a guy named Orkim. He has three legionary cavalry, and one legatus as his cavalry contingent. He has four velites, obviously he's going to try to use them to stop my elephants, you can see me marching in the background. And then his main line is composed of a bunch of the uh, particularly good Roman infantry. Uh, he has armored legionnaires, he has evocati cohort, he has regular, regular legionary cohort. Uh, this will be a tough nut to crack. Meanwhile, uh, my army has finally gotten mostly set up. On each flank, I have two Egyptian cavalry. My general is an African war elephant. And then my infantry component is actually something a little interesting. I have brought five Egyptian pikemen, and they are backed up by four Levi Thurio spears, and then on the flanks, on each flank, I have two Thorax swordsmen. Uh, I haven't given up on pikes yet, they're not particularly good on this patch, but I'm, I'm trying a couple of different ideas uh, to get pikes to work. And so in this case, I'm using Egypt, because the really cheap pikemen mean I can bring what is technically a pike core, but have enough money on the side for, say, Thorax Swordsman as a flanking force, uh, Levi Thurio Spears to help skirmish, uh, and of course, I forgot to mention earlier, but these mercenary Rhodian Slingers who will help me kill off his abilities. So. Once again, our two armies are simply getting into position. I have my Egyptian cavalry over here on the side, getting ready to flank if necessary. I forget about these guys for a few minutes, but I'll bring them into battle short enough. Uh, and yeah, it looks like he's not actually moving, so I'm going to move up my Rhodian Slingers to get a pot shot off at his Legionary Cav, and convince him that he needs to move at least just a little bit. Now, as I was saying, pikes on this patch, they're really buggy. They simply don't work perfectly. Um, pikes have a tendency to not push forward when you try to attack someone. Uh, something I've noticed is that if you leave them off of formation attack, they will push forward a little bit more, but they have a tendency to just stop and stare at your opponent. The hope here with these cheap Egyptian pikemen is that I'll be able to use these first two pikes to actually absorb missiles, while these the second line of three pikes actually pushes forward and engages his infantry. And now, even though these pikes are incredibly weak, if he attacks my pikemen from the front, uh, his infantry will not be able to push forward. As I mentioned, my Rhodian Slingers are getting some shots off on his Velites. Uh, within a few volleys, these are almost going to be down to completely to zero. I think they're going to... I'm going to target the second unit when these are at 13 men, and so they're actually not going to rout. Which is a little silly in my opinion, but whatever. Anyways, obviously if you are facing a pike army, the best thing to do is, of course, go around the sides, or look for gaps and try and break through those gaps. However, my opponent is nice enough to attack my pikes from the front, and so we'll see what happens. And he may have been thinking, oh, I have Evocati Cohort. This is a really thin line of Egyptian pikemen. What's the worst that can possibly happen? And like I said, we'll see. Let's see. In a few minutes, actually a few seconds, I'm going to send these Egyptian cavalry into his general. Uh, so if in case I miss that, just understand that that's what's happening over here on this flank. And now he's moving his men forward. I'm bringing my elephants over to the left side, where they have a little bit of cavalry support. And I'm continuing to use my mercenary Rhodian slingers to target his abilities. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, uh, elephants require a lot of patience. In the end, my opponent's actually going to get one volley off with these velites, and my elephants will run amok immediately. So, as many velites as I can kill now with my slingers, I will help my elephants survive that much longer. Alright, and so here comes the battle. Like I said, my cavalry is going after his general. And you'll see what I'm doing. I'm moving up my first two units of pikemen, and using my thorax swords to form, whoops, to form the sides of a little box, and to basically keep him contained. And so he has two options. He can try and either fight a blob of thorax swordsmen and thurio spears, 
not the best, or he can, you know, not the best I've ever done, but, or option two is try and push his way through the center of pikes. And again, it really, just, it doesn't work that way. Levithorio spears, they're not the best angle, but they're getting some good shots off on the Avocati cohort. As I mentioned, the pikes, way they get into action, and then they tend to just stop. And so they're not pushing forward. Uh, and you really have to spam attack orders with these guys. Keep ordering them to attack. And obviously I'm not going to get a whole lot of kills with Egyptian pikemen. But it's more, the, it's more the thought that counts with these guys. Here we are again. Another pikeman getting a great engagement from the front. Even though these are armored legionnaires, they're actually not going to be able to win in the long run. And it's certainly not going to be cost efficient. He's brought some of his cavalry to reinforce his general. I decided to reinforce with an, a unit of Thorax swordsmen. I have my Egyptian cavalry. I think, yes, they're going to get another rear charge off on his general. His velites have been removed, and so here comes my African elephant. And I think, yeah, uh, these armored legionaries got a javelin volley off, and it made them run amok. It wasn't even the best volley. Oh, uh, whoops. There's another volley of javelins from Evocati Cohort. Fortunately, my war elephants ran amok in his lines, as opposed to in my lines, and so yes, I'm going to lose a number of men, but my elephants are going to do uh, their job. Let's see. Let's see, these pikemen really weren't engaged. Oh, they only lost one kill. One man from the elephant. Let's see. Six. Yeah. Could have gone better, could have gone a lot worse. In the meantime, his general is not yet dead. Let's see, yeah. His general is not yet dead, but is about to rout off the field, at which point I can bring my cavalry back to engage. And here we are, there's that uh, pikeman engagement I talked about earlier. These armored legionnaires got 30 kills on some of the cheapest, weakest units in the game. This is simply not acceptable. Pro tip of the day, don't attack pikes from head on. Most of my pike line, though, has disintegrated, and I'm using my Levy Thurio spears to fill the gaps. I've also pulled back with these three units of pikemen, so that I can reset, put my pikes down, and begin pushing forward. His general is now dead, my elephants are still alive, and that's it. His army is going to rout. So, good game to my opponent. Let's take a quick look at the statistics. So yeah, not... All of my soldiers got a lot of kills. Let's see, this unit of pikemen, they got 95 kills. That's a good job, guys. Uh, that's impressive. These Rhodian slingers each did very well, but again, they were, were killing velites, so not, you know, nothing to be too proud of. My elephants got a whole bunch of kills, but if you can look, uh, they actually killed about 150 of my own men, so shame on you, elephants. But again, could have been better, could have been a lot worse. But as I just said, it wasn't that any one particular unit tanked its way through the enemy army. It was when I used all of my units together, so for example, these pikemen as a unified front, these levy thurios spears to throw javelins, these thorax swords to box the Romans in. Using all of these troops together enabled me to break the tough infantry of the Roman army. So obviously my opponent could have played better. Obviously, uh, a really high-level player is going to defeat a pike army every single time, but, again, I'm not giving up on pikes just yet. Uh, I think I actually have another video where I use the more elite pikes, the bronze shield pikes of Pontus, and so I hope you'll stick around for that one, and it'll probably be next, so I'll see you in the next one.